Ah, oh, shit. You ever messed up and left your tag on when you left your house? That's when you really feel like you've lost your shit. Hi, and thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. My name is Ryan Keyes, as you can see in the banner above. And today's topic is, okay, wardrobe malfunction. As in the vein of today's topic, five ways to bring sexy back. That would definitely not be one of the ways for me to bring sexy to anybody. What I would like to say to you guys, and I actually have some Barry White playing in the background. I'll leave a link to Barry White if you want to listen to him. Barry White is one way to bring sexy back that is not on the list, but I would like to throw it in there as an added bonus. Music. Ah, oh, music soothes the savage beast. And not only does it soothe the savage beast, it really moves the beast. I'm bringing the sunshine, baby. When I come out to the screen, I want you to smile from ear to ear because you know you're getting ready to get entertained. Like Russell Crowe in Gladiator. Are you not entertained? Today's video though, based on my tag, not feeling super sexy myself at the moment. I do like this shirt though. It gives me that Zen Jedi feel. Look, I'd put this on my head, but then that wouldn't be sexy. One of the top ways to bring sexy back and like what I'm doing right now, is to slow it down. Slow your roll. And when I say slow it down, you know what I mean? Slow it down. You're not gonna get to a sexy state of mind if you are constantly stressed out. A couple of things you can do to slow it down, take some personal time, go get a massage, go for a walk on the beach, stick your feet into some grass or into some sand and get grounded. Go to the gym, slow down, take some time to gather what you need, what you want, what you're looking for, how you feel, reflect on yourself, because if you're stressed out, you're not gonna feel sexy. I mean, I'm telling you. Man or women, man or woman, this is for both sexes, really. Number two, walk the talk, because talk is cheap. Okay, so why am I saying walk the talk, because talk is cheap? Walk the talk. If you were going to talk a big game, be a big game. Talk doesn't mean much. You need to believe it. So I want you, when you look at yourself and you think, I'm the shit, I want you to feel like you're the shit because you are the shit. Get your shit up. Get your ass up and do it. Get out there. Walk the talk. You can talk all day long, but if you're not walking the talk, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm doing here. I'm walking the talk. Number three, this is a little bit more lighthearted. So number three, to bring sexy back is flirt. Flirt, don't hurt, right? So flirt, flirt your little ass off. And guys, flirt your big ass off, it doesn't matter. So and here's the thing, flirting doesn't hurt. Flirt with your partner. Flirting helps to release endorphins, it helps to build up your confidence. And somebody gives you a little of attention, exercise that. You don't have to go home and bang them, but you can flirt with them. There's nothing wrong with flirting. Look at Instagram, Instagram's like flirting. When you pop up a big, Happy's face under someone's comment. I almost made myself crack up right now. <laughs> when, when, you drop, when you drop an emoji on to somebody's like picture and it's a picture that is like sexy, that's flirting. Now you're not trying to say bang me. You're not trying to say, yo baby, I know you're, I know you're in Quebec and I'm down in like uh, Austin, Texas, but I would love to see you tonight. <laughs> Come on, we know it's not happening. But what I'm saying is, is that's flirting. So feel free to flirt, flirt and don't hurt, okay? And number four way to bring sexy back, and this is for everybody. If even myself, I don't have an eight pack, shit. So am I gonna walk around strutting like I have an eight pack? No. And the number four way to bring sexy back is accentuate something positive. We've all got something positive. There's something positive on every, you right now, Look at me in the eyes and tell me, what do you have that's positive? I'm like your big brother right now. Tell me, what do you feel is positive about yourself? Something. Is it your eyes, your lips, your nose, your fingers, your butt, your calves, your hair, your teeth, your smile, your sense of humor? What on you is positive? Let's work it out. Let's really think about it and pick those key points that you feel positive about and accentuate those. If you've got a great laugh, use it. Don't be a bummer. Don't be a buzzkill. If you can laugh, guys love girls that laugh. Girls love guys that laugh. Don't be like, 
Don't be a buzzkill. Work it. If you've got, if you're a girl and you've got blue eyes, if you're a guy and you've got blue eyes, like the background behind me, I don't have blue eyes, but that will pop. So wear colors that accentuate that. If you've got great teeth, don't go through like the street like a scared monkey. Smile a lot. Use that. If you've got really nice lips, make sure that when you're talking that, but don't do duck face. No, no duck face. If you've got a great ass, hmm, accentuate it, but uh, hmm, dial it down a little bit because you want them to also focus on your face. Just saying. Okay, so when you think of sexy, do you ever think of food? Like chocolate and strawberries with whipped cream. Oh, that sounds sexy. That sounds like Valentine's Day. That sounds like you're getting ready to smash. It is truly sexy. And what I mean by that? Okay, so there's a lot of experts that have gone and they've, de they've delved into all these different things. So, uh, for instance, foods. Okay, so number five, superfoods that make you feel sexy. No shit. Seriously. Superfoods that make you feel sexy. Almonds. As long as you don't eat the almonds before the date and you brush your teeth, you're set. But almonds raise zinc. And if you're a boy, that is great. Or cacao ramps up the passion. How does it do that? If you ever watched my hug video, I talked to, even the last video I posted, I talked about this wonderful thing called oxytocin. Oxytocin is basically like the magnet of of the enzyme in the hormone world. It helps bond trust and bond you to someone else. Cacao raises that passion level that helps that enzyme that, secrete, that helps secrete oxytocin. That's a tongue twister. Also, we've got watermelon. Watermelon is also great for bringing sexy back. Why is watermelon great for bringing sexy back? Maybe not necessarily for girls, but for guys. Why? Because it helps to dilate your blood vessels thereby increasing blood flow, thereby reducing the need for Viagra. Also, we already know oysters, that's on the list. And then uh, asparagus, asparagus, it does make your piece melt, but that's completely off the point. But it does have a lot of vitamin C and beta carotene in it that gives your cheeks this nice warm glow. Seriously. So those are some things that you can do to bring sexy back. There's a whole list of things you can do to bring sexy back. That's just a couple. And I'll bring out more topics on how to bring sexy back. So number one, slow down, take your time, get some time for yourself, calm down, unwind, de-stress, decompress, take that cortisol and throw it out the door because it's not going to get you sexy. Okay, number two, walk the talk. If you're talking about things that you need to do, if you wanna go see music, if you wanna to go to the gym, if you wanna get out there and meet people, you're not gonna do it at home. You're not gonna do it at home. Get your ass out and go do the things that you need to get done. You can't meet Mr. Right or Mrs. Right if you're sitting home freaking in front of the TV watching Game of Thrones. Sorry. Number three, flirt, 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 flirt. Builds your confidence. Guys, flirt. If you get a successful, uh, if you get a successful interaction with a girl and you flirt and she flirts back, you don't have to seal the deal. You're not trying to get her number. Be European for once. Think of it like this: all interaction is great. All communication is fabulous. You, like Jerry Maguire in the movie, help me help you. Help me help you. Help me help you. Look into my eyes and tell me we can do this. You can have the life you want. You can be the person you want. It's right there. All you have to do is just start nudging yourself. You don't gotta make big changes today. Just make little ones. Little changes add up to big change. Light, love, peace. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe, please like. And if you know somebody that needs this message, forward it to them. Leave comments, check out my website, ask-ryan.com. I'm here for you to help you because you are doing so much for me. You're helping me find myself. You're keeping me accountable. You're keeping me into a place where I need to be accountable for the things that I've ignored in my life. So we're building a relationship. This is our tribe. Our vibe is victory and we're going to do this together. Peace, light, love, and happiness. See you next time.